What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making another amazing Irish recipe. That is traditional Irish potato farls, otherwise known as potato bread. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below if you try this recipe. So today you will need 500 grams of potatoes. Any type of potatoes will do the trick. You can even use leftover mashed potatoes, which is the way that people would have traditionally made this dish. 300 grams of plain white flour. And to that, you'll see that I've added a tablespoon or 15 grams of bicarbonate of soda, also known as baking soda. 50 grams of butter, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. And lastly, 40 milliliters of buttermilk. If you can't get your hands on buttermilk, take a look at the instructions in the description box for how you can make your own. First up, and as simple as can be, go ahead and peel your potatoes. As always, I peel into a separate container so that I can compost the peelings. Pop the potatoes into a heavy base saucepan and go ahead and cover the potatoes with cold water, just enough so that the water comes to the top of the potatoes. Place your pan on the hob on a high heat. We want to get these boiling. And although there is no major science to creating great boiled potatoes for mashing, a nice trick is to take a fork, pierce the potato. If the fork doesn't get stuck in the potato, you know that they're ready. This could take anywhere from seven to 15 minutes, depending on the size of your potatoes. If you find that your potatoes were quite large to start with, cutting them in quarters, making sure they're evenly sized is always a great idea. Now we're going to simply add our 50 grams of butter into our hot potatoes that have been drained and start mashing. You can use a hand blender for this, a potato masher, or just like me, fire away with the fork. Mash until the butter is really nicely combined and until there are no hard lumps. At this point, add your salt and pepper, and then go ahead and sieve in about half of your flour plus your baking soda. So the aim of this is that we end up with a bread dough-like consistency. It won't be exactly the same, but it will be similar. So the more you mix, the more the flour gets incorporated and the more you end up with a nice homogenous mixture. And as you can see there, it starts to form a ball. At this point, I'll go in with my 40 milliliters of buttermilk just to make sure that the mixture doesn't become overly dry. And this will also react with the baking soda to give the farls a little bit of a rise. I'll add in the rest of my flour and then I will start to mix by hand. When the mixture has roughly come together in the pan, I like to tip it out onto a floured work surface and go at it for a couple of turns similar to how you would knead bread. So go ahead and knead and work your potato mixture until it forms a nice homogenous ball. Try and create an even circular shape if you can. This will make rolling out a little bit easier. I like to divide the dough in two work in two separate halves as if you don't, it can be quite large, which there's nothing wrong with. It would just take slightly longer to fry on the pan. So grab your rolling pin and roll out the mixture until it's about one to one and a half centimeters in height. This circle creates our four quarters, which become our farls. Take a sharp knife and divide into four quarters. And that's it, your mixture is ready to fry. I've gone ahead here and heated up the lid of a Dutch oven on high heat. Any type of frying pan, any type of pan will do the trick here. And I've added in a good dollop of butter. Don't be shy with the butter on this recipe. Make sure the butter coats the pan nice and evenly and drop in the four quarters of your farl. Start your timer. We're going to fry these for three minutes on either side. You can leave your heat on high and reduce as necessary. I think this depends on everybody's individual hobs. If you feel like the files are starting to burn, then take them off the hob and turn down the heat. The actual frying itself is quite intuitive. You'll know very quickly if they're starting to burn. And flipping them over after the three minutes can be a bit tricky, so try and be careful. Remove from your pan and serve immediately. Look how incredible that color is. Golden, crispy and fried. It's Honestly, I wish there was smell of vision because it is to die for. Beautiful, amazing, traditional Irish potato farls made with just a handful of simple, basic ingredients. I think you will be absolutely blown away by how amazing these taste, even though they are so simple. And that is it, everybody. I really hope you enjoy the recipe. I hope that you try it for yourself. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section down below 
how the recipe went for you, what tweaks did you make. And if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe for more zero waste and baking focused videos. And I look forward to seeing you really soon. Bye.